everyone. Welcome to the Nintendo Pride Podcast, episode 62. This is going to be one of the most entertaining... 62? 62. 62. That's older than my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of the most amazing podcasts of all time. I'm sorry, younger, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because of what the subject is this week. We're actually going to be looking back at the... The first year plus of Switch. There's a whole bunch of Switch news that landed about all this oh, crazy stuff and sales year. numbers and blah, 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 blah. And uh, I, I kind of want to just kind of reminisce on, on Switch and everything as much as we can. Uh, it's going to be very, very entertaining because uh, we're, we're live streaming this publicly, which we normally don't do. Uh, when we do that, it's a good time for us to advertise, hey, look, if you would like to see this live stream normally every single week, uh, p- patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime, $10 Give tier. Give us money. Give us money. <laughs> Uh, Darren, um, has had a few too many tonight. <laughs> what? No. Don't and, uh, it's going to be a very entertaining night. In fact, I couldn't let him drink alone, so I might randomly take some watermelon smash shots every time, oh. every time that, uh, Darren fine. I can't say every time he makes me laugh because I'm going to be right. so piss ass drunk. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Do every that, time do I'm that. laughing hysterically and can't stop, I have to do a shot. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Um, Listen. So, yeah. Listen. You are going to be so piss ass drunk anyway. <laughs> no, no. I don't, we don't drink on the podcast. You do now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, boy. So, yeah, well, welcome to episode 62 of the Nintendo Pride Podcast. Uh, as always, you have Mr. Eric Moore over here. Hello. And the piss-ass drunk guy in the background is Mr. Darren Har. How's it going, everybody? It sounded like C&D for a moment there, bringing that energy. Yeah. That's um, the energy that's going to be throughout this podcast for the duration of it. Oh, this uh-huh, is amazing. The duration. Uh-huh. I see what you did there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dern. Uh-huh. 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 Um... All right, so the first topic I should talk about uh, when we're looking back at Switch and everything coming through to, coming through today and all the sales numbers and all the crazy stuff happening, uh, what does Switch mean to us? Or does it mean nothing because it's an inanimate object that's ultimately <laughs> irrelevant when it comes to the grand scheme of life? Yes, no, no, no. You can't take that shit with you. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna go to your grave. You can't take anything with you. Yeah. For all you know, and there is gonna no be like. Go. Actually, well, yes, you shit, can. I have nothing. You can be me. buried with it. <laughs> this is true. I, I suppose, but I'm only bear. I want really them gonna, to surgically insert it. I, it's they're really gonna trans, <laughs> transmerge <laughs> with you in the afterlife. Like really, that I, I want to, I want to subscribe to your religion, buddy. Hey, like, you tell can... me, tell me in what religion you have that Nintendo is in it. Uh, the religion of of the prime. Ah, the religion of the prime. The prime. Okay. The prime hey, you know what? If we if we declared Nintendo Prime as a religion, I it's tax free. Yeah. Everything. What? Yeah. 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 Mind blown. Yeah. All the loopholes of religions. Right. And you only need one follower. I will be that follower. <laughs> uh- are you sure you don't want to be the rabbi? <laughs> Crickets? Uh, I mean, either way. I don't, I don't know. Eric, what? what does Switch mean to you? <laughs> 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 Are we even going to be able to do this? <laughs> this hey, this Eric, is what's happening this week. Yeah. Eric, what? You, you own a Nintendo Switch product trademark symbol, am I right? I do. You do. And how you have owned that piece of equipment for about how long? Uh, since day one. Since day one. So you were saying since March 3rd, 2017, you have owned a Nintendo Switch. Somewhere in that area, yes. So you have owned it for over 365 days. Is that correct? If that is the date, then yes, that is correct. I am correct in, in stating that fact. Okay. Okay. So after having a year of intimate relations with this <laughs> console, how would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 12? Orgasmic. <laughs> Orgasmic. I don't yep. think that registers I as a number. Agree with hey, you. Hey, 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 he said an intimate relations. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mr. Nathan Jantz. You have you have owned a switch for how long? <laughs> since day one. So March oh my phone just went off. So since March third, <laughs> two thousand seventeen, you have owned a Nintendo Switch trademark symbol. Yes. <laughs> 
And on a scale of 1 to 13, how would you rate your relations with the specific video gaming console? Uh, unsure. Un- what? I, I had to throw you off. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, Lord. <laughs> unsure, he says. What? You like the ne- freaking Xbox 360 better Next then? to my... Next to my intimate lover, it's the only other thing in my bed. Huh? There you go. That's all you have to know. That, but that classifies as a somewhat. I I didn't know we we're talking about classifications. <laughs> when did this come into the equation? Um, I guess I'll I'll try to talk about what switch means to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. I, I talked about it in another podcast, but we've never had just a, a, a whole podcast dedicated to this before. Um, Switch has changed my life mm-hmm. uh, in many ways because Nintendo Prime existed before Switch. We even knew what it was, you know, whatever. Um, but us doing what we do at Nintendo Prime in terms of me being able to not have to work full time at another job, Switch has a large reason that it's possible uh, because its popularity helped our channel grow. Uh, not just how popular it is, but how much I enjoy talking about the product mm. and the games on it. Because obviously it can be popular, but if I don't like it, I'm not really going to spend a lot of time talking about it, right? There is um, that. <coughs> example, 3DS. Um, oh! To be fair, I actually like the 3DS. I just think I was been over it for at least two years. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's really changed my life. In so many aspects, not just like job wise. Uh, if you just look at my enjoyment of video games, um, I love playing on high end 4K PCs. I have one. Uh, I, I love playing on Xbox and PlayStation um, and on 3DS, but something about Switch made me get into gaming in a way that I haven't been probably since high school. Hmm. Um, where I'm buying multiple games a year. I used to buy, like, a game a year. Madden. <laughs> and then, well, sometimes two. Madden and then Zelda. Ah, right. Yes. <laughs> um, but now, like, I- I'm really expanding my repertoire of Ooh. games. Oh. Um, and into genres me. that I haven't played in a long time. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I haven't played a JRPG since Final Fantasy XII, and I only played that because my roommate at the time had it. I haven't bought a JRPG because they suck. <laughs> oh! Uh, JRPGs are like the scum of game RPGs. Ooh. A JRPG. That turn-based or the scum of all video games. I'm sorry. So you hate Fire Emblem? Yes. You hate... What is, I'm trying to think of some other Nintendo turn-based. Uh, turn-based Mar- combat Mario RPG. is a sin. Turn-based combat is a sin. So you hate all of the uh, Mario and Luigi games? I enjoy the Mario and, Le- and Luigi Turn-based games. Turn-based combat. No, well, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I enjoy every aspect of the Mario and Luigi games what? except for the turn-based combat. I enjoy this quirky story, the settings, the environment, but the combat I am not a fan of. I'm guessing you're not a fan of uh, Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I I bought it. I have played it. I have not beat it because I'm not a huge fan of the combat. No, <laughs> which is turn based. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> okay. I mean, it's okay for turn based combat to not be your thing. Like, I happen to like turn based combat because turn based combat's all about strategy. Uh, lots and lots of strategy because you can have strategy in action games. But a lot of times when you're playing action games, like a Zelda or, you know, Dark Souls or whatever the case may be, there's a lot of reading and reacting. Hmm. Whereas strategy, you could stop and think. If I go over here and do this and do this move and jump off this character and attack with this certain weapon, uh, what are they going to do in response? It's like a chess match. Um, and unlike, you know, a, a lot of turn-based games give don't give you unlimited time to make those decisions so unlike in chess where like you sometimes you're on a timer and you gotta think a little quicker uh a lot of these turn-based games you don't i kind of like that um there are turn-based games that do have timers of course but Mm -hmm. um and that's why like jrpgs have always kind of been a thing like xenoblade chronicles and the funny thing is you said turn-based like xenoblade chronicles isn't turn-based 
It's live action. Which is kind of funny that somehow we got to you hating turn-based combat when we were talking about a game that doesn't have turn-based combat. Well, then where did I get turn-based combat from? You, because we talked about JRPGs yeah. and how much you hate Xenoblade, and it, then I mentioned Final Fantasy XII, and you're like, I hate turn-based yeah. combat, because Final Fantasy XII. Yeah. It's actually, well, it's ironically true. enough, kind of live action. <laughs> but you associate Final Fantasy with turn-based probably because a lot of the old games oh, were turn-based. I do. I've yeah. never played an old Final Fantasy game, and I refuse to because I know I will not beat it. <laughs> I just, I, just I won't be able to get through the turn-based combat. Sure. But uh, So getting back to the topic, as I said, uh, expanding how many games I'm playing. You know, again, Xenoblade, as I talked about, uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You know how long it's been since I played a tactical game like that? I mean, mm-hmm. I played the original XCOM, mm-hmm. and that was the last time. Mm-hmm. And that's a long time ago at this point. Um, uh, there. I'm trying to think of some other genres. I was gonna say platformers, but I mean, I owned a few platformers on Wii U and stuff. Um, oh man, now I'm really racking my brain over the games I own. I own so many of them. I'm trying to th- pick out specific genres, and I'm drawing blanks. Golf Story, another one. Mm-hmm. Sports RPG. Haven't played. With, I don't even know if that's even. Is that even a genre? Sports, Sports RPG. RPG. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it should be. Why and not? I haven't played that since Game Boy days. Why not? Um, yeah, just even just dance. I only own 2017. I'm actually mad. I want the newer one, but way to go. I need a bigger SD card, micro SD card. Sorry, uh, but yeah, like it, it's just expanded my gaming. Uh, where I'm buying tons and tons of games. You know, th- this past week I just got South Park: The Fractured Butthole. Um, for starters, it's South Park, and mm-hmm. it's funny, so yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's just, it, these are games that I didn't, wasn't buying before. Um, even though I owned uh, L.A. Noir before, um, I w- probably would not have bought it if it had been a game that releases today unless it was on Switch, because Switch is providing a convenience for me that I, I never I never knew I wanted because I had a 3DS, right? I had that convenience of you could play games anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and I'm I'm 31, gonna be 32. Something about busting out the 3DS in public just never really sat right with me. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, because there's plenty of adults that play it, plenty of college kids that play it. But again, college kids, 30 plus year old man. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 starting to think about getting to the age of 40 where I finally get to say it. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm not there yet, so I can't say it. Yet. Nope. Um, so. It's just, it's made gaming more acceptable, uh, more like like full console gaming more acceptable mm-hmm. in public, I think, than ever before. I see, um, it, it's actually strange that I see this because of where we live, how small this area is. But uh, I w- took my kids to the mall, and uh, they were playing in the play area, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like checking my phone and watching my kids as they're playing, going on the side. And, like, to my left and right were different people not related to each other playing Nintendo Switches while their kids are... Now, should they be playing Switches while their kids are running around? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, you're on your phone. I mean, I'm on my phone, so who am I to say? But right. I, I have, like, one eye on the phone, one eye on them kind of thing. I don't know if I could do that with Switch, personally. I get too into it. Yeah. Like, on my phone, I'm like, I'm not that into it, right? But, I could play like, tap sports baseball. Oh, you don't have to look. <laughs> you don't even have to look. <laughs> um, I found a way to get that reference in. God yep. damn it. <laughs> We've got to get through one podcast without nope. referencing it. Um. <laughs> but yeah, it's it just it it has enabled me to be um just a gamer again. Mm-hmm. And because it's well, just aren't you freaking special? I know. <laughs> I'm not special. That's the thing. I'm really not. I'm thankful. Mm-hmm. Cuz I didn't well, realize a product like this. Aren't you thankful? I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> um no, uh, so, I can I can go on to yeah. on that. I know it's it's provided a lot of opportunities for just us to hang out and whatnot and, and yeah, do we've some been, wacky. We've been hanging out a lot, doing some wacky stuff. I know for a while there, um, when I was down in the, in, in the cross at, at, at school, we just you know we would we just would go some months without even yeah, talking right? to each other. Yeah, right. Just living our lives because yeah, we right? know we can't see each other or do anything. Yeah, right. Uh, it's, so uh, it's just, it's it's unique. Yeah, you know. I mean, definitely a unique console gets people to play with each other, for sure. Um, you know, there's there's nothing like playing a game of couch co-op, 
And what better games to play like that we'll than Nintendo our games? <laughs> you know? Right. Um, Bring it over to someone's house, split a couple Joy Cons off, and yeah. play a couple matches of Mario Kart. You know, yeah. Yeah. play play a couple of rounds in uh, One Two Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, milk that cow. Yeah, milk that cow, baby. Unlock that. Unlock that safe. Do the catwalk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this game is so weird, but it works. Yeah. Or build something out of cardboard together. Yeah, why not? And play music at the end. Why not? Um, it's crazy what some people are doing with Labo. They're mm-hmm. like, take they're playing like real songs on there because you know you have X amount of notes and they just make it work. It's like, mm-hmm. This is sweet. Mm-hmm. This is really cool. Um, I think I heard um, some Journey music being played on it, which I'm just like, okay, Ooh, now we just nice. need a robot voice singing nice. songs to make nice. it all work, make it all come together. Or Mario. Yeah, I suppose. Someone tell Charles Matinee we need him to sing some Journey in the Mario voice. <laughs> if you're watching, Charles, come on. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have anything to say about what Switch means to us? Yeah. Yeah. Martin, insert crickets. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll move on to our second topic then uh, for this looking back at Switch through today week. Um... Has Switch done anything to change the way we play games? Because it's always been, at least my entire life that I can think back of, there was basically three primary ways that you gamed, and mm-hmm. kind of a fourth when smart devices came around. Mm-hmm. So you had your portable gaming device that you played on road trips, mm-hmm. your Game Boys, mm-hmm. your PSPs, your Game Gears, all that stuff. Uh, you had your underbox system, mm-hmm. right? Um, your PlayStation's, your Nintendo's, your Xboxes, your your Sega's, etc. Atari back in the day. Um, and then you always have the PC. Sit mm-hmm. sit at a desk and and play on your computer. Um, and then smart devices came along. It's like no, now you always have that device in your pocket that you play touch games on. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're here in 2018, and I'm wondering if the Switch, being what it is, that hybrid nature, has it done anything to change how we play games, or are we just Doing what we've always done. Like, if you've always just played your games portably, well, now you're just playing Switch portably. Or if you've always been someone who just sits at a TV, are you just sitting at a TV playing Switch? Like, has it actually uh, changed how we game? I mean, I've had, you know, handheld and home consoles for a while, but honestly, as of this moment, um, I do both. You know, I I always thought I would play... um, in you know on the TV most of the time, but with certain games now, um, for an example like Cluster Truck, that's not really a story oriented game, or a game I'm you know paying attention to the soundtrack to or whatnot. So I'll you know I'll I'll throw some Netflix on the TV and play a little crust, Cluster Truck in handheld mode. Uh, you know it depends on the game. If I'm playing you know Breath of the Wild, I'll throw it up on the TV and devo- devote my full attention to it. Um, so it, it's kind of changed the way I play some games, you know what I mean? Sure, for sure. So I mean, I mean that hybrid aspect is really just is mm-hmm. is a game changer. Sure. Um, because I mean, some games you just couldn't play portable for you portable before, and now you can. Mm-hmm. So it, uh, you know, some games if I want to play them portable, now I will. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. How about you, Eric? Um. I've always been mainly a home console guy. Yeah, I've had my 3DS, Game Boy, Game Boy sure. Advance. Um, but <clears throat> I've always been like a main console, home console player. Um, and this, I have yet to still dock my Switch. Uh, still wait, in no, the box. no, no. Oh, oh, you took it out of the box? No, no, it's the, the dock's been out of the box. But you have your plasma hooked up now? And yeah, it's. it's, okay. it's it used to be a storage, so. Yeah. Um, no, I have waste. docked it in your dock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've yeah. done that. I haven't docked it in my dock yet. Um, but, so now it's mostly, I've played s- pretty much straight portable, which so is like crazy. converted you into a portable gaming. Pretty much, yeah. Um, not that I, Not that I have anything against playing it on the TV, I just haven't really taking the time to hook it up. That's pretty much all it is. I'm just Well, plus lazy. maybe it's one of those aspects that, um, you know, you're not out completely on your own yet. 
Yeah. So like when you have your own place yeah. and then you have like that giant TV in the living room. Yeah. You know, you might just come home and be like, all right, I took this movie to work. Let me just dock this bad boy. And yeah, no, for sure. Maybe I'll pull, finally play Zelda on a big screen for mm-hmm. once. Um, so there, there's also that case as well where I think uh, after college and everything and, and as you're paying off your student loans and doing all that stuff that, um, you know, just even your time in front of a TV is diminished so much. Oh, yeah. Uh, that that switch came at an opportune time for you because since you don't have the time to just sit there in front of a TV much anymore, uh, switch is just enabling you to find those moments to game, whether it's mm-hmm. on a lunch break at work or mm-hmm. uh, wherever. You know, maybe you don't happen to be driving for once and someone else is taking you yeah. somewhere to a family. No, house. for sure. You bust it out. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it allows me to actually play console quality games now. Yeah, huh. portably. Yeah. Um, so, and I, and I feel like that's an important aspect of it because a, a lot, there's still a lot of Switch naysayers. There's always going to be because people think when you play console quality <coughs> games, you should be aiming for the best possible experiences. And it's funny when I hear that because I'll, I'll hear this from people who are like PlayStation 4 fans or um, Xbox fans or whatever. And I'm always like, why are you saying this but you don't play PC? Yeah, right. The only people that I feel like have an argument there are PC gamers mm-hmm. because they do get the best of the best. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if you're going to argue that you shouldn't play Switch because you should play these games in the best possible way, why the hell are you playing them on those <laughs> systems in the first place? The same argument exists. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, obviously, console exclusives aside. Um, so yeah. I, here's the thing. I I have always been, much like Eric, I'm a console TV gamer. Um, well, it's Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, it doesn't matter. Uh, I've always ho- owned every single Nintendo handheld. I uh, used to play them a lot when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I grew up, not so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it was a new Zelda game, sure. But that was really it. Uh, I, I, w- I would dabble in a few other games, but for the most part, I didn't play much of my handhelds once I got out of probably not even probably once I even got into high school. Uh, I played a lot of GameCube, played a lot of Xbox 360, um, mm-hmm. a little bit of PlayStation 3, and then it just kind of kept expounding from there as I got older. And... That's kind of what I did, and PC gaming. I, I've been PC gaming almost, well, not almost as long as I was, I've was. i been playing on Nintendo, but shortly after becoming a gamer because of the NES uh, and the Game Boy, I started PC gaming. Um, and so I've always been a PC gamer as well, like my entire life. Mm-hmm. Uh, PC and Nintendo, that's kind of always been my combo, right? Like get PC and Nintendo, then every now and then grab an Xbox or, or, or you know, when, when you get a good sale or something because maybe you want to play this game. Or now Madden isn't on PC. That's kind of a big thing for me because I used to not even buy Xboxes when Madden was on mm-hmm. PC. Uh, but it was one of those things to me that uh, when I got Switch, there there was one aspect I knew wasn't going to change. So I was still going to play it on TV. Uh, that's primarily because of my job. Um my, t- my Switch is docked a lot because uh, I'm recording footage all the time. Even if I'm not – even if I'm playing the game for fun, right, mm-hmm. I keep thinking, you know what, though? I should record the footage of what I'm playing anyways because you never know when I'm going to need footage of that game. <laughs> yeah, um, like today? Like today. Uh, kind of sucked. Today I wanted footage of Fire Emblem Warriors. I own Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, I have played it in the past. I had footage for it, but I didn't have enough storage, so I threw the footage out and deleted it. And now I got frustrated because I wanted it today. And you might think, oh, you have the game. Just go play it and record some more. Well, yeah, but it's currently archived. And it's archived because I don't have enough storage, <coughs> Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I have to sit there and wait two and a half hours to install it to get that footage. I'm not waiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just not going to happen. That, that's another reason that I actually want, like, a 500 yeah. pl- plus gigabyte card so I could just have all my games installed so I can get that right. footage whenever I want. But right. part of it's also that I wish I would have kept it in the first place. Well, wait wait two hours to get it installed to, what, yeah. maybe ten minutes of video? Yeah, so now, like, any time that I have some free time and I'm in my office not necessarily working, like, maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just watching Netflix and getting away from the kids or something. Uh, if I'm playing a game, I will record footage. But what Switch has done is... Like this is this is one reason I brought up this topic. Like, like Switch has changed how I play in that it's not converted me from being a, like a, a console or a PC gamer into just playing handheld. But what it's done is it's made me not want to go back to a life before hybrids. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I do not want Nintendo to release a standalone under TV box anymore. Mm-hmm. Nor do I want them to release a standalone handheld. Right. I don't. If I have it my way, at least for the foreseeable future, this is what Nintendo is, a hybrid company. 
mm-hmm. giving me a system that gives me the maybe not the best of both worlds. Because again, you know, Xbox One X right now is the best right, for under right. TV, and uh, maybe not the best mobile experience necessarily. Because I think, I think iPhone tens now and stuff like that, they're starting to surpass it a little bit in terms of power. But it gives me enough of the good stuff from both worlds to satisfy me. Mm-hmm. Um, as you said, console quality games on the go. Yes, You're right. Um, Breath of the Wild. Uh, for those who aren't aware, is the best-selling Zelda game ever released. Ever. Dang. And it, it, it feels feels weird, weird even saying that, but it's a console Zelda game that I can play anywhere I want. Heck yeah. When I'm on the crapper, I ain't pausing. Unless it's a live stream, I'm not pausing. That game's coming with me. It has been proven by arguing with myself. Yes. <laughs> um... You know, whether it's on my couch, whether, uh, you know, when we're going to E3, I'm going to be playing Hella Switch on the plane. Oh, yeah. I'm probably watching a movie and playing Hella Switch on the plane. yeah. Because I can do both now. I can have the movie play in the back of the the headrest, and then I can also play my Switch. Yeah. As I eat, well, as I eat the free peanuts they give me. Yeah. Um, Actually, we might, the first flight, we might get free lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's actually in the middle of lunch. I'll probably sleep beforehand. Oh, right. Because the lunch options aren't usually... That great in, yeah. in where we and are. probably expensive. If we want to do first class. And probably expensive. But, no, I think the, the lunch is included. I was really Oh, right. really? okay. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's like yeah. a sandwich. It's not that great. Yeah, well. It's like those prepackaged things. Hey, why not? Get, but it's better than nothing. Um, but I'm one of those people that actually uses Switch for what it is. It's a hybrid. Mm-hmm. I play under my TV, and I play on the go. I play in my house on the go and on the TV. Um, I have a little uh, SwitchCon dongle thing. Still works, technically. It's a little finicky since some of the new updates. I don't know if there's a firmware update for the that thing I could download. I know all about the bricking. I, I, I hear people screaming at me now. You keep saying, don't use those things. It bricks your system. I'm aware. It's my choice. Thank you very much. Um, if I brick my Switch, that's all on me. Uh, and you can actually get your brick Switch fix now we now know what causes it but or at least what part of it's frying out that you need to replace um but yeah like it, it's changed my life because i never played handheld gaming really much besides the zelda game um and i was actually even falling out of playing console games altogether mm-hmm. um when i gamed it was pc most of the time uh not because i had a lot of time to pc game even but just because I, you know, kids, life, when I'm in front of a TV, I just want to lay down and Netflix and chill. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really even think about playing a game. But when I was around my computer, I think, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, doing this. Ah, I need a break. Let me turn a game on quick. Let me let me get a Steam game. Let me get Age of Empires up. Let mm-hmm. me get whatever. Um, and now I'm like, I can't remember the last time I sat down and played a PC game. I'll probably see a Thieves um, just to try it out. I, I don't I, I with a free trial I had of Game Pass, um, I can't remember you know before that you know yeah I, I have Age of Empires two you know HD and stuff like I can remember instances I played a little bit, but I don't remember the last time I had like a, just a long gaming session on my PC. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of miss it, admittedly, but then I don't mm-hmm. because I'm so satisfied mm-hmm. with Switch. It, it's it's also so, orgasmic. So many experiences. I mean, the top eight Nintendo games on that platform, I love all eight of them. Mm-hmm. And that includes games like 1 2 Switch, it includes ARMS, it includes Kirby Star Allies. Whoa. Which some Mind people blown. really don't like and don't think it's a good game or a good Kirby game. And I'm like, I don't care. I had, had a blast mm-hmm. playing it. Mm hmm. Maybe my standards are lower than yours, but then again, my standards are lower than most people. Like I just, I just want to have fun, and if I'm having fun, then that's all that matters to me. Right. Um, I obviously there's some things, so certain franchises like Zelda, I can get picky about, um, but that's because those are also the games that I am like, I'm deep in, like right. like deep in the lore. Like Kirby, I'm not deep in the lore. Kirby, who gives a crap? Mm-hmm. I just play to smash things around, suck them up, and play with some weird powers. Um. That's what was weird though, because Kirby's Epic Yarn, and you couldn't do that, and I still enjoyed it. But it, it did. I enjoyed it, even though it didn't feel like a Kirby game. It, hmm. Really weird. Interesting. Um, Maybe you enjoyed it because it didn't feel like a Kirby just game, just like Majora's Mask. Dun, ah. dun, dun, dun. 
Um, uh, and there goes there goes some subscribers. <laughs> well, I mean, it, or like even Zelda Two, right? Yeah. It's an RPG. No, I know. Completely different from yep. Zelda One. Oh, no, I know. Um, but yeah, I guess it's just made me more of a gamer, and it's done it in a way that I am actually surprised. I thought when I got Switch. I would basically use it exclusively handheld mm-hmm. outside of when I'm doing something for work. Mm-hmm. I knew I'd use it for record footage or stream, but I'm like, I figured that's the only time. Mm-hmm. But I've actually played it on my 4K TV. I haven't done it on the TV upstairs yet, but I've done it on the 4K one down near the big screen. Mm-hmm. Um, I have done it at a hotel TV even. Um, and I find myself just using it in the – like if I, if I have a TV readily available that no one's using, I'll use the TV. Mm-hmm. But if it's not readily available, or if I want to watch something on it, then I'll. Uh, and I did that with Wii U even, but Wii U I felt like I mean I'm tethered in my living room. Right. This just makes it I can do this everywhere. Right. Um, and I think that's what's so great about it. I, I am a fully converted hybrid gamer now, and I never want to live a life where I can't be that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I actually dread the day that Nintendo decides their new innovation isn't going to be hybrid. Right. Thankfully, I probably don't have to worry about that for like the next decade, but um, you never kinda, know. That's kind of where I sit. You never know. Uh, I guess we'll move on to our third topic. Did we get Darren's opinion on that one? If it's changed him? Yeah, he was did the first it? one. Okay. Talk. Yep. Yes, we did. We All did right. get Darren. Sorry. Yes, oh, I think Darren's coming down right now. Uh oh. You might. You might need <sighs> to do something about that. Are we losing Darren? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me chug one more. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. You know what? Just for that, oh, I'll give you a little yeah. shotter. Hey, hey, uh, Martin, insert the uh, Popeye theme music there. <laughs> this is green, I just realized. Yeah. Uh, hey, look through me. Oh, jeez. But this is red. Oh, red. This one's for you, Darren. Hell yeah. <laughs> Should have did the pumpkin instead. All right. Oh, man. So our third topic. Uh, What do we want to see from the Switch in the future? We're talking games. We're talking features. What do we want to see? Hmm. I mean, let me even be more specific. Let's first hit on features. Nintendo Switch's online is coming later. Mm -hmm. What the hell do we want that thing to be? I don't know. Give me regular voice chat, man. Yeah, right. Regular voice chat. Is that it? That's all you care about? That's it. As long as I get to use my headset, I'm good. I'm golden. Don't care about matchmaking, uh, cross-game chat. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the standard features. Um, the ability to join people's games uh, without having to necessarily load up the game. Like You can see someone's playing, like, oh, someone's playing multiplayer Splatoon. Well, you know how like you can tap on them and join their join match when you're in the game. But how about I see that and I go to their profile and I just select the game and it boots me into it and then gets me into the match. Mm. Um, or spectating or Twitch streaming or achievements or a zillion other things yeah. that Nintendo has never ta- done nope. that everyone else is doing. Just voice chat. Just voice chat. Just voice chat. <laughs> yes all, to, that's all you care yeah, about. Yes to all the above. Just Those other things wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> 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 yes to all the above. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, you got I, any thoughts? Uh, honestly, I, at this point in time, it, whatever we want with it, Nintendo's going to go the complete opposite direction. So, is is there a point to even want? <laughs> well, there's always a point to want. Well, right, yeah, um, I guess, but... Because while Nintendo's a very stubborn company, um, they do usually improve things at a snail's pace. Yes. But they do it based on feedback uh so there's a point to want it's weird because i say that and then they brought friend codes back Mm -hmm. and i'm like why who asked you to bring those back after you got rid of them on wii u but we did we we did keep asking for a universal account system and nintendo account kind of is that Mm -hmm. it just doesn't have any of the functionality of a universal (laughs) account system (laughs) But all of your purchases are at least tied to your account. And to, to, to explain how big a deal that is, your purchases on Wii U were never tied to your Wii U account. They were tied to the system. Ugh. So you could transfer your account to a new Wii U, but that did not transfer your purchases. You had to do a Wii U system transfer to transfer the purchases over. So say you, you all, say you were all digital on Wii U. You Then, for some reason, your Wii U breaks. 
Hmm. And you decide, you know what, I'm going to install my account on another system. You can't transfer your purchases because they're all tied to the system that's broken. Oops. That's even worse, by the way, than than the fact that we don't have backup saves. Because now you lose your games. Yeah, you don't just lose your you don't uh, just lose your save files. You lose your games. Completely. But whatever, Nintendo realized that was a horrible like because they tried a new account system for Wii U. And they were like, okay, that was dumb. We're never doing that again. Yeah, right. Uh, so now with Switch, you can you you get all your purchases back at least. Um, so it's a true universal account system in that sense. But again, they crawled to get there. They mm-hmm. went through. We know better. Um, you know now mm-hmm. they do full. What what is it? Uh, you can now add friends off Facebook and Twitter, I think. And uh, th- that also owns Switch. You, you, it's another way to friend them. And it's like and it's like they to get to that they had to create Meverse first. They had to be like, no, we know social networking better than the people who do social networking. And mm-hmm. granted, there's a lot of things I liked about Meverse. I'm yeah. not even knocking the service. There's things I didn't like, things that could have been better. Mm-hmm. Um, Nintendo clearly didn't really understand social networking, but there were still some cool aspects. I like the drawing aspect. That's something I wish you could, that Twitter would add. Mm-hmm. Or like let people, especially if you're using a phone or tablet, let, let them draw. Let yeah. them draw a tweet. Yeah, that's, that's natively. Yeah. Natively, yeah. you can always draw a tweet, but like if you like do it on Twitter. Um, but besides that, it, it was just kind of like. Meverse was kind of a neat idea, but Nintendo realized that yeah, we shouldn't really make our own social network. We should work with the ones that exist. So they get there. Mm-hmm. So yes, it does matter what we want. Probably not now. <laughs> Maybe, but for the next Nintendo now. system, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. But so. let's assume that even if they don't listen this year, that they're going to listen by the time Switch Pro or Switch XL or whatever mm-hmm. comes out. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Do you want just standard features, or is there like some newfangled idea that you're like, you know what, even though the standard features are cool, wouldn't this be better? It'd be interesting to see how VR would play on it. VR? Not that, not that I'm, you sure. know, I've never really actually played Well, VR, I mean, they had a patent yeah. for a headset for yeah. VR for Switch, so it's definitely something they've tested anyways. Mm-hmm. It's a possibility. I mean, it, it, it worked the same way VR works on phones. Mm-hmm. Um, Switch, I don't think has, in my opinion, a good enough quality screen to do it. Well, doesn't mean it can't do it technically. Right, right. But it's a, it could be a future thing. I mean, it, it'd be a little bit more convenient than PlayStation VR right now, which needs like an extra headset plus the system plus converter boxes plus mm-hmm. a zillion cables. This would be a cableless experience, which mm-hmm. is again yeah, you, oh, get, that, you, you get that you can get that with your phones. You already got your controller and yeah, already motion controls. Yep. So yeah, and you wouldn't need a camera. So you could use tracking, head tracking of the, of the actual Switch and the Joy-Cons. Yep. Um, so, I mean, again, it, it's a lot like the phone VR. It's not as good as, you know, like HTC Vive or whatever. But, I mean, it's there. It exists. Right, right. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see how that would work. Google Cardboard, baby. Yeah. Nintendo Labo VR. Yeah. Why the hell did it take me that long to get that? Hey, let's put that in. <laughs> Then you submit that idea to Nintendo D3. Hey, yeah. I got a killer Nintendo Labo VR. Oh, yes. It doesn't even need to be good Yeah, because we're just talking about Labo. Yeah. No one said Labo had to be good. It's the fun of getting there. Yeah, right. You build your own VR headset out of nothing. Congratulations. And then you can play some. <laughs> and then, then you basically just play like the uh, the AR game uh, from 3DS where like you can shoot heads and stuff like that yeah. of your friends. Yeah. Like you, you get their social media profile images in, and then you just pew, 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 pew. Oh, this is so cool. It's the gimmiest yeah. ga- thing ever. Oh, right, but right. You Why built not? it. So, you, like, you feel special. Yeah. Um, that would be really cool, actually, to be honest. Yeah. That's the way it kind of is a lot of internal lab things, at least from uh, not my personal experience, but what I've talked to with people who have it. It's like 90% of the fun is building. Mm-hmm. And the rest of it's just you know, it actually doing something when you're all done. Uh, they say the piano is obviously really cool. Yeah, you know, limited because you know you're limited with how many keys there are, but it's still cool. And there, I've even seen some people who dare to own two switches, Whoa. build two pianos, Whoa. and try to do like left hand, right hand, and actually mm-hmm. create chords and stuff. And it's apparently it's crazy because mm-hmm. uh, you can also do different sound effects and get them in the right key. Like, do musicians they oh, figure yeah. out how to make music out of? Oh yeah. Uh, you take the shot glass and they'll create a song from it if I tell them to. Oh yeah. Um, so like they do crazy things like that, but again, it's still kind of uh, a novelty. Uh, although garage is cool, I haven't seen any great garage creations yet. But I think that's because using garage where you make your own stuff and you and you put things together. Besides, like I've seen the guitar, but it's almost like 
even though I've seen the guitar, I've seen so many people do a guitar that it's like, mm-hmm. okay, that's not really you using Garage. Nintendo taught us how to make that, so mm-hmm. you're just making that. It basically is just like any, just like the piano. Um, but I do feel like uh, there's gonna be some crazy creations coming down down the line because we're in the experimental stage right now. Mm-hmm. People are just figuring out what Labo is. So then let's see what happens later. And I think that would be cool to do like a cardboard VR out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, why the heck not? You already put on fake cardboard goggles for the robot, so why why not? <laughs> why not? Oh uh, yeah. Um. So uh, I'm doing what I'm not supposed to do. Yep. Way to go. Um, I'm reading the chat, but I'm reading the chat because I saw something that Mark mentioned that I want to bring up. He says he has an idea. I'll let a third party make Nintendo's accounts because Nintendo well, fucking sucks at it. Yeah. yeah um, that, my whole thing with that is I'm of mind that, it, it, at least for me, for like, you know, because we're talking about what do we want to see from the platform in the future in terms of like features. I wouldn't mind, it, it feels weird saying this because I don't necessarily want them to stop making hardware, but I wouldn't mind if they just teamed up with Xbox. And they just said Xbox Live is the backbone for the account system. Because mm-hmm. uh, it has everything you want already, standard-wise. Mm-hmm. And then you could have Nintendo's charm on top of it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even though some people might be like, oh, I don't want Game Pass. Well, Game Pass would only be for games that Microsoft releases anyways. Right. So their back catalog and, and new games Microsoft wants to do. So uh, it won't affect Nintendo, and it would just be an option. Mm-hmm. Um, here, here's an example. Like Before Game Pass was a thing, uh, there's EA Play on Xbox. I actually like EA Play. Mm-hmm. It's like five bucks a month, and you get access to a whole vault of games that never get deleted. Mm-hmm. That's great. And every now and then, you know, they add the latest games like six, eight months later or whatever. And you know that as a vault purchase. So if you want to play the game now, yeah, go spend 60 bucks, Or just wait. It's going to be in the vault. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like that. I'm not saying that Nintendo should do that, <laughs> Virtual Console. But <laughs> uh, it, it's funny because EA does it for five bucks a month. Nintendo's like, yeah, five bucks a game. Yeah. Oh. Eight, ten, fifteen. For some, like sold. Uh, Wait, no. Um, <laughs> or we're just gonna HD remaster it for sixty dollars. Well, um, so it's just, I would like to see that approach. I guess where I would like, to, I would like to see not necessarily Xbox stop making hardware. I actually think Xbox should continue to make under TV boxes that are top of the top line. You know, be the Apple mm-hmm. of TVs. Mm-hmm. Build, bring that top of the line device. Don't overprice it of course mm-hmm. but bring you be the the top of the line device end up getting the nintendo games even on that platform mm-hmm. uh i don't know if nintendo wants to deal with up in 4k or whatever but get them on that platform but then conversely the xbox games are on switch and xbox is the backbone for all of it with nintendo obviously having to have a 50 percent stake in all the, all that mm-hmm. revenue and stuff mm-hmm. from, from mm-hmm. xbox Live. Mm-hmm. um i don't know how that would ever work out but that's kind of a situation i've, I've been dreaming of ever since we found out about Xbox Live being used on Switch with uh, with Minecraft. Mm, so it's like yeah. they already have Xbox Live technically on Switch. It's just on one game. Right. But what if they did it as a backbone? That would be definitely interesting. Um, and especially because since it, it wouldn't mean that Microsoft and Nintendo are the same company, Nintendo could actually do partnerships with, like, Discord for their voice chat. Mm-hmm. And even though, like, Microsoft has a relationship with Discord, they don't use it for voice chat or anything like that because they have Skype. Mm-hmm. Um, but Nintendo could. Like, if anything, hey, forget Microsoft. Partner with Discord and make them your official chat service. Yeah, there you go. Let it be locally installed on your Switch. There's your solution. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do any legwork. You just have to let them put the app on Switch and let it run in the background. Right. Boom. Voice chat solved. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Actually, Cross yeah. game chat solved. Yeah. Everything actually, is solved. Yeah. Discord already does it. Yeah. Yeah. Deep. deep yeah. Um, I got no... Now, I don't care about this myself, but achievements, I think it would be nice to have. Nintendo has some achievements on my Nintendo, but they're not, like, accessible on the Switch. Although, (laughs) you can go change your DNS servers um, and access the web browser. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. You literally change your DNS to this one guy's DNS that runs it through his server and asks for an authentication. And when you go to authenticate, it brings up the Switch browser. Hey. And you can browse the internet. Hey. Um, it actually works quite well. It's just a standard Android browser. Um, 
Although it doesn't work with YouTube videos, although there's a workaround for that, and then you can end up watching YouTube videos on your Switch. <laughs> nice. Might attempt to do that during E3, like that Monday when we're watching streams, yeah. to see if yeah. I could stream one of the streams on my Switch. Oh, that'd be interesting. Through the web browser, through the YouTube pack. That just just for an extra screen in the room. Just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. See if audio comes out. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. I have this stream taken care of. Treehouse, you are exclusively being streamed on my Switch. I'm going to do it in front of you at the Nintendo booth. <laughs> hey, look, I'm watching <laughs> you guys on my Switch. How, how are you? Yeah. How do you not know about this? Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Turn off DNS servers? You ain't touching that. He, he's gonna find. They're gonna find your exact switch and brick it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I don't know. I mean, outside of that, I, I would say I'd love all the standard features. They're not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I would love them not to charge at all, but they're going to charge. Mm-hmm. Um. The big thing is we know they're offering games. I want. I want the games to be worthwhile. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm really that excited about an NES game with leaderboards. Mm-hmm. It's like that's cool, I guess. Like it brings that arcade feeling back. Int- well, until somebody hacks the the ar- the leaderboard and it's oh, pointless. you mean like Odyssey? Yeah. Well, they didn't really have. They just used in-game glitches to yeah. get the highest possible scores you can get. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't know. I'm not really that excited about it. Uh, maybe because I've played all those games a zillion times already. So it's like you're just giving me something I've already played and bought. Two, three, four, five, six other times. Mm-hmm. So, like, why am I paying a subscription service for games that I already have? Um, especially at the rate they're giving them to you. I, I think it's a lot for more, not necessarily for us. Well, for, yeah, for, it's people, for, who it's who for people who haven't. Yeah, yeah. But. Well, and I wonder how many Switch owners haven't played a Nintendo system before. Or not even Nintendo system, just like NES, SNES. The, the but old, NES, SNES have been available on every Nintendo system dating back to Wii now. Oh, well, and then, yeah, I don't know. So, like, th- it's not even new to the system. Virtual Console has brought it to Wii, DS, mm-hmm. 3DS, and mm-hmm. Wii U. Mm-hmm. Just not Switch. Yeah. That's another thing. I'm of mine now. I think I said this before in another video. I don't want Virtual Console anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done. Hate me all you want. I don't want Virtual Console. Okay. And it's not just because I don't think they're going to do it. I think the video I said is uh, is that... I uh, I don't think Nintendo's going to do Virtual Console. Here's all here's all the reasons why. But now it's a want. I don't want Virtual Console anymore. Okay. Because I realize that the one issue it presents, detracting you from other games, I don't think is a big deterrent for game sales, but it's a big deterrent for me from buying other games. Would I have bought Golf Story if I could have bought Mario Golf on the eShop? Probably not. Yeah. And it's just a me thing. Because yeah. I'm going to want to dive back into that well and play all these games and... It'll, it'll detract me from experiencing new things. And my big thing with Switch that I love so much right now is how much it's introducing me to new things that yeah, I wasn't that, playing before. Even well, if they're sense. old ports, they're not that old of ports. Yeah, no. Besides Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and now the world ends with you. And now, oh, geez. Bayonetta 1, I suppose, would be considered an older port mm-hmm. at this point. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's bringing me into new experiences. So I'm kind of thankful Virtual Console isn't here because I'm not so sure I would be playing those games. And the thing right. is, you might be like, give consumer choice. That's your choice if you don't want to play those games. Yeah, it's my choice, but I guarantee you if I bought those Virtual Console games, I ain't beating them. I've already beaten them yeah. like two or three other times. Yeah. I ain't beating them again. Yeah. I'm just going to want them just to say I have it so I can play it because uh, I'm going to act like I want to. Like Secret of Mana, played it on the SNES Classic. When am I ever going to turn that thing on again and play Secret of Mana? No idea. I don't know. Maybe never. Yeah. Because it's nice the thought. That, uh, you almost enjoy the thought of just having the game readily available all the time for me personally mm-hmm. uh, versus actually playing it a lot. <laughs> right. That's the way I – this is why I have – I I realize it's for early on. For occasions you actually want well, to play Well, I, I realized that early on in Virtual Console. Mm-hmm. I bought a ton of it early on. And then I realized I'm not really playing these games. I'm just buying them for nostalgia because I used to love them. Mm-hmm. And it's not that they're bad, but it's my desire to continue to play these games that I've beaten a bunch of times just isn't there. Mm-hmm. I'll, I turn it on once, relive some memories, and I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. But then I don't buy anything new. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, so I'm actually kind of almost thankful because it get, got me out of that rut of I'm just rebuying these games I've already bought and but never going to play. And then instead I'm buying new games and I'm actually playing them. Oh. Imagine what? that. Whoa, no. So, yeah. 
hate me all you want. No virtual console. I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, Darren, any other features you would like to see added? Is he dead? We might have lost. I think Aaron. I think Darren died. We we might have lost Darren. Darren, Darren, are you passed out, my buddy? We might have lost Darren. Oh, Darren, Darren passed out. I think we lost Darren. Darren's gone. Uh, All right. Well, I guess that means we move on to the next topic. Huh? Yeah. Last final topic. He made it to half the podcast. Hey, hey, that not bad. Um. So uh, the last <laughs> all, topic. All, all all things considered. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, what improvements, hardware wise, now? What we want to see in a revision of Switch. Hmm. I. Huh. Well, obviously, you know your 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 newest top of the line, you know, chips and everything. Okay. Graphics wise, cards, sure. everything. Um. Are you considering the consequences of that? What, that it's going to be more expensive? Yeah. You don't care? Uh, okay, maybe not top the line, but, uh, I mean, better. <laughs> well, if you think about, like, smartphones, top, uh, granted, yeah. overpriced for a lot of cases. Oh, but, yeah, right. but but top of the line, you know, they're selling them $800, $900. Yeah. Like, no, I'm going to say Switch yeah. is going to go that high. Right. But, I mean, 500 might not be out of the question if it's, like, say, like, obviously the top of the line Tegra chip right now is the X2, but by the time they start to go to assembly... It could be the Tegra X3, which right. might be a five hundred dollars system if they put that in. Right. Uh well, yeah. I, why do you always gotta do this to me? <laughs> well, because here here's the thing, like talking about what we want, I, I I'm a person that balances what I want versus what it means to have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's gonna increase the price, but what are we gonna get for that price increase? Right. What do you think we're gonna get for that price increase? What would you want? Like, there's like obviously the the most up to date chip, but what do you want that chip to be and do? Like, what? Oh, how does it enhance the switch? Right. It, it. I guess it just allows you to play more things at a more games at a better frame rate, and you know. So, are we talking like finally every game's 1080p 60 FPS? Right. Is that, is that what you're right, kind of talking yeah. about? Yeah. Because yeah. I had 4K60, I think, oh, right. mobile-wise, is right, a long right, way right. to waste. Uh, right. No, for sure. Heck, it's not even there on home consoles. So yeah. Besides, like, specific indie games. Right. Okay. What What else would you like to see in a hardware revision? I. Or do you even want a hardware revision? That's a good question, too. Right. Um, or when I'm do you think it's the right time for one? I don't know. Probably another couple of years. Maybe a year and a half, too. Okay, so like 2020? Yeah, somewhere in the area. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want something that's got a different size screen. I I don't know whether Bigger I want Bigger or smaller? I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because, I mean, do if I go any smaller, I'm already sitting at cell phone. Sure. So like Right, exactly. So do I go bigger? But if I go bigger, how much does that change the portability? Well, let me grab my switch. You you keep talking about it. it like, yeah. is there anything else? Um, no, not really actually. But um, not I don't really know. Actually. No, That's it? um, it, it'd be a, it'd be an interesting to find a way to actually find a better way to carry it on your persons as well. I mean, besides being in a massive carrying case. What do you mean? Like the three DS. It's nice that you can just slip it in your pocket. I can't slip but, it. But yeah, with the Joy Cons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm. Yeah. It's not any more bulkier than throwing my phone in my wallet. Right. But what I'm saying is, is I'm more worried about like the the joysticks on the Joy Cons. Well, if you put them in jeans, like you wear. Yeah. Yeah. And nice baggy anything. shorts. Yes, that's totally fine and easy. All my but, clothes are baggy. Yeah. <laughs> well, besides my jeans. Right. But I don't even put my 3ds in my jeans. Right. Well. So. I barely put my wallet in my jeans, if I'm being honest. I, I don't even know if I put my cell phone. I always wear like a jacket so I can put it in a different yeah. pocket. Um, well, the thing is, like for a bigger screen, I mean, you got the bezel. You can just get rid of the bezel and make that right. more part of the screen. Right. So that's one way to do it without changing the size of the switch. Yeah, that, that would be nice, actually. Because uh, it is yeah. a pretty large bezel, which is like what tablets used to be 
like and I, I'm not sure why they did that design wise. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was cheaper. I'm not, I'm not 100 sure. Maybe they were worried about some of the components and the initial design with the Joy Cons connecting. Yeah. But you know when I look at it, like the rails, you know the rails go into here. They don't go to where the screen starts. Right. So you know it is something that maybe it's just they maybe, knew what the, maybe there's a, a maybe there's a couple of, of plugs or something that have to be that are uh, won't fit behind the screen. Maybe I don't know. Because if the screen's a little bit deeper than the actual bezel is, maybe there's something, some plugs or something on like the the chips or something that sure. hide behind the bezel. Yeah, maybe. Um, you know what? You know what I just realized. What? Um, for those who don't know, besides the fact that we're missing Darren. No, no. <laughs> no. That's why I threw the headphones on. Yeah. I don't even mind now. Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm replacing the backplate back. of my switch with this white one. And I was just thinking about this for hardware revisions, how cool it is that I'm putting my own revision in yeah. uh, with this because when I'm at E3, I can meet him over to the same white Oh, if I meet him. Yeah. Wouldn't that be sick? It would be. And then you could just never use your Switch again. <laughs> I know that's the problem. <laughs> I think what would happen is I would buy a new, a new Switch and then well, put this on the back and put it on display somewhere. Right. Or you could just take the back off right now and, until you can have the... You know, the actual, I guess, means to buy the new Switch, I guess. But, yeah. You just buy a new back and put the yeah, new back on Yeah, I just buy a new back. I would just buy a back and swap it out. Right. But, I, I, just speaking yeah. of, I, I want a white Switch Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. I'm making my own. Or I, how about, I don't want to do that. How about actual face plates and stuff? It have to be back plates. Well, well, I mean, you, know you can what theme I mean. the Joy-Cons. Yeah. You can do more with the Joy-Cons being colors, Nintendo. Yeah. Right. You can, like, put patterns and stuff on them. Um... You know, the back plate of it, you know, there's no reason the back plate of it can't can't see some theming with the little Switch logo still relevant. Right. There's no reason the docks, like, it's weird because Monster Hunter Double Cross in Japan got a themed dock. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why are we not seeing that more often? Why is it just Pro Controllers and mm-hmm. then Joy-Con colors? Yeah, right? It'd be nice to have, like, dock skins. <laughs> or. Well, I mean, there's dock so- Well, yeah, but those aren't officially Nintendo. Yeah. That's the thing. Right? There's dock socks. There is the there is the Nintendo like officially branded plate you can get that that's either Breath of the Wild or Mario that kind of like your dock sits in and it does like this cool LED effect. But again, yeah. that's just that's an accessory. Right. That's not a spe- like a special edition. Mm-hmm. Um, and they did it a lot with 3DS. So like that's one. You know, I'm talking about that because that's one thing I would like to see, uh, hardware wise. Even though it doesn't change the hardware itself, it makes it more collectible, and I like that. Yeah. I, I like systems being a little yeah. bit collectible. Um. Outside of that, obviously, I want to get rid of bezels. I want, yeah. I want at least the Tegra X2. I think they can get the Tegra X2 for a reasonable price mm-hmm. uh, to keep it at 300 or 350 at most. Uh, more storage, more yeah, way more storage. That's that's huge. I don't know how much is enough. I don't know where the cost uh, would be for consumers. Mm-hmm. Like I want to say 500 gigabyte, but then or 528 or whatever it has to be for flash, but. Uh, at the same point, is that going to make the system cost six hundred dollars? Then mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I I would pay that, but how many others would? Um, should there be a Switch Pro that has like a 4K dock? I don't know. Should uh, they even have a dock with extra power in it, or right. should they have a Switch Mini? Like I've always been against a Switch Mini, but then like you talked about the portability and putting it in your pocket, that's not happening unless it's a Switch Mini, right? Um, and it would have to have Joy Cons that don't come off, and you'd almost have to get rid of the thumbsticks and replace them with the sliders that right. the 3DS has. Yeah. Um, and is that something we really want? Uh, mm-hmm. Is it still hybrid because it doesn't really work with any of the other Switch stuff? Um, yeah, it could have its own mini dock because mm-hmm. uh, the actual board inside the dock is not very big, but mm-hmm. um, then it's not compatible with anything else, and then it might not have detachable Joy Cons, which is a big deal. Right. Um, so there's a lot of. A lot of stuff going around with Switch where um, I'm not really sure what to think about it mm-hmm. in terms no, of hardware sure. revisions beyond screen, bigger yep. screen that's 1080p with Tegra X2. Mm-hmm. I, how much RAM is in a Switch? Four. Four? Maybe up to six or eight? I'd like to see six. Yeah. I, I think eight is ideal if they can get enough other better CPUs. Right. But... Uh, without better CPUs, I don't think they need more mm-hmm. than six. Mm-hmm. I think six would be good because even if, even if it, all they do is take the two and use it for the OS, that means there's straight up four available for games right. all the time. And, I, and and more RAM also can run things in the background like <coughs> Discord. Right. Oh, oh. 
finding some uses yeah, here on Nintendo. Right, right, Ooh, right, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, hardware wise, man, um, I would like to see a, a switch that gets rid of the plastic clips. So, oh, so yeah. this stops happening to me. Notice how I did not press the buttons to loosen those. I realize not everyone has this issues, and it means my clips are broken. Um, but the, they broke because they're plastic. Now, I'm not saying like, I'm going to be replacing them with metal, and I understand that that could create some wear and tear with this because it wasn't designed for metal. But there are devices out there that have metal clips that work with metal that can be just like switch and work. So I'd like to see a design that improves upon that, includes metal clips with a rail that can not necessarily wear down as easily. Uh, all you do that is different hardnesses of metal and stuff like that. They can make it happen mm-hmm. um, if they really wanted to. A little bit more expensive than obviously the plastic, but I mean, I paid. Seven dollars, I think, for the off-brand metal ones that I have coming in that won't be here for like a month because they're from China. <laughs> but um, right, like seven bucks for two little metal nubs. Yeah, it's like Nintendo could have found a way to make that happen. Yeah, um, I'd like to see better kickstand. Yeah, I mean, or even better placement. I mean, well, why is it off to the side? Heating, heating. Okay. Um, because you have the heat pipes here. Yeah. Uh, you got the charge port here. No, so you're kind of running out of places to put it. Well, you could. What you I would like to see. The charge port what I would. To... What I would like to see is one here and one here. One on both sides. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would actually. Because yeah, see how you get this. Well, yep. you wouldn't have it. You'd yep. have one. One. Right. That would be a weird design, but it works. But it'd be a lot more stable. Yeah. A heck it, of a lot it, more it'd, be, it'd be way more stable. I also would like to see a kickstand that supports multiple angles. So right now, you basically get one angle officially. Yes. Um, if I can if take can, this out. Yeah, yeah it's can, actually nice. My clad hasn't broken yet, but. This is basically the angle you get, but I'd like to see one that lets you go lower, maybe like this, like this, like this, or even almost standing up completely straight mm-hmm. for different situations. Uh, but right now you get one angle, right? So that kind of well, sucks. and I don't think that would be even that hard. You just have have a L- extender, yeah. an extender on the arms that you can just yeah. I mean, there, there's, there, different... there's 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 kickstands like that on other devices yeah. that work. Yeah. Uh, not on my phone. My phone uh, just has the solitary kickstand like that. That's my phone. Like for a device like this that I actually want to stand up a lot. Right. Um, it yeah. would it would be nice to have some something like that. Uh, also with the Joy Cons, um, one thing obviously is is a Joy Con option that has a D pad. You don't have to include it with the system, but as an option to buy at the market officially. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's an obvious. Isn't that one. a thing now? It Nyko is releasing one, but okay. you can't use it wirelessly. It doesn't have any of the other Joy Con features like Rumble or anything. Got it. So it's basically just you have to use it like this all the time. Got which it. is fine for some people who only yeah. use their Switch that way. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's also, like, you could buy uh, Joy-Con cases that uh, you take this off and you actually add a D-pad where these are, uh, and it actually works quite well. But, again, that's all fans are doing that. Right. Um, right. Nintendo should have that officially supported. Mm-hmm. Um, I also wouldn't mind Nintendo. Uh, I'd, this is more of a pipe dream, but I would like to see them support multiple micro SD cards at mm-hmm. once. Have two or three slots. Yeah. Yep. If I if I could put in my 128 I have in here now with my two other 32 gigs that I just have laying around, like mm-hmm. it automatically gives me next to 64 gigs of storage. Right. And then this is a dream running in RAID zero, but yeah. basically, so the views it as one hard drive instead right. of three. Right. Um. But still, th- it would be nice just to be able to plug in multiple like. Oh that. no, for sure. Uh, because then people would be like, oh, did I get the 256 or did I just buy two 128s for cheaper? Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. It gives right. you options. Or you buy two 256s or right. two 400s, and you yeah. end up with almost a terabyte in here. Like, right. Like you, exactly. Well, I mean, that would be nice. Um, uh, and that's something I don't even think would cost that much to add an extra mm-hmm. micro SD port in there on a controller you know, or change the controller mm-hmm. so you can you mm-hmm. can have multiple. Um, I would also, uh, you know, headphone jack on the Joy-Cons. Um, probably on the bottom of the left one, because since we had the IR camera here, mm-hmm. having one down here, because then, um, even though there's, a, they can keep the headphone jack up here. Oh, when you're yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. But add yep. one on the controller, so when you take these off or, and you put them in the and you put them in the grip, which I don't have laying around here right or, now. Um, that way you can do local voice chat or, or not use even local the, headphones without having to run a cable to the switch. Or not even on the. Joy-Con itself, but on the grip. Oh, it could be on the grip. Sure. That's another but way it, to look at it. Because if you look at the, the Xbox controller, where the voice chat comes in... Sure, it's in the middle. Yeah, but just put it right but there's also people the who don't use the grip. They just they, they just use the Joy-Cons like this. Where you just, yeah, there's that. You're true. just like this. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool. Even though, yeah, it's a cord running, but if you want that local headphone sound, mm-hmm. why not? Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
that's another change I would like to see. Also on, on the Pro Controller, obviously. I don't know why there's not one on the Pro yeah, Controller. Yeah, that's a little weird. Well, if they don't have voice chat, why do they need it? Headphone, just to listen to headphones. No, Some yeah. people prefer gaming and headphones. Hell yeah, you know. Because well. you, you get a fuller sound. Yeah, yeah well. Um, Talk to Nintendo. Try, I'm, I'm, just, it, I'm just glancing out other, at other issues I've had. It, it'd be nice to actually have a something, some sort of electronic that has a screen come with an actual screen protector put on them already. No, they're never going to do that. They'll never put it on. They'll never pre-apply. Why? Um, because pre-applying a screen protector means that they're admitting their device needs a screen protector. We all know that... Switch doesn't. There's plenty of people who don't use screen protectors. Well, those people are weird. Some of them don't have... So like, look at me. Even like, I have the smudge in the corner. Like All these fingerprints are not as big of a problem without the screen protector. I'm creating more, some problems using a screen protector, but I'm also doing it because I don't want to scratch anything or break the screen. Mm-hmm. But some people don't have that issue at all. It, it's all about options. You actually are taking away an option by saying, look, we're just going to make you already use it and already have it. As an example, um, the new camera we just got, the G7 over there, yeah. it doesn't come with a screen protector for the LCD screen. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, I have some for it that I'm going to apply, but it's not there pre-applied in the box. I, the only reason why I say that is a lot of times when you, especially like right here, you get sure bubbles and crap in it. And well, this is this happened because it's actually crap. Oh, right. No, I know so that, but it wasn't doing that before. But but um, it, when it's but it's also when it's applied, hopefully right away, you don't have dust and dirt and other crap that somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah, like gets, that's not in the factories. Yeah. It's not made in a clean room over there. Hey, the they, could be, they could be using air to blow on it while they put it on. I don't know. Um, Bigger battery. Yeah. I don't know how. There's, like, no space in the thing, but maybe they just make it slightly fatter well, or something. What, they would I do, what I think they could do is just add an attachment that you can put on the slip on the back, plug into the charge port. And you mean that already exists? On the back. There's already things that do that. Yeah, battery expanders. Yeah. 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 So why would I need Nintendo for that? I don't know. I would rather it just be, just be a full, in, a full no, in automatic in blender without it being. It's just I, I would like that on the system. Right. I, I would oh, like no, to no, not have sure. to add something to it. Oh to, yeah, no, like, no, I, I get put you. Put in a bigger battery, um, and you can't tell me you can't do it because like even my phone battery, right? Like the one that the the the, the, the camera, camera battery. battery, the one that came with is twelve hundred milliamp hours. The uh, battery that I bought extra for it's fifteen hundred, and then I have two more coming next week. All of them are the exact same size, but higher capacities. Mm-hmm. They can find a way to make it higher capacity if they want. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so I would like to see higher capacity battery. Would it be nice? Like I though. think I think these are what four thousand, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I would like to see it ten. But would be what would be actually really nice is if we actually improved our battery devices overall. Well, we need. <laughs> it'd be nice to finally technology. make some major advancements in battery technology. Yeah. Um, there are some advancements that exist out there, but they're not even close to being consumer ready. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, it's. I, I'm I'm trying to think about any other hardware. I'm like I'm just sitting there staring at this thing. I mean, the dock. We can always talk about the dock being a slightly better designed. Um, they've already added the pads on the inside, and mm-hmm. I actually like the look of the dock overall. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, they they could they could do some probably some things with it. They could they could add an Ethernet port. Um, that's one big thing. Even though right now the Ethernet port doesn't really make a difference. Um, yeah. For those who don't know, the Wi-Fi is actually slightly faster. Because the network card on there is slightly faster Wi-Fi than it does handling the Ethernet. Because the Ethernet port doesn't work as a 3.0 port, it only works as a 2.0 port. Oh, boy. Um, so, yes, even though Switch has 3.0 ports, they're not actually supported, so they all run at 2.0 speeds. And 2.0 speeds is slower than your Wi-Fi on your Switch. Well, there you go. So, for all those people like, wired's better, except on Switch. <laughs> uh, it's better for a more consistent connection. Record. If yes. you're in a place where you're at the edge of your Wi-Fi, obviously wire it, but... Yeah, that's another thing. Like, actually have proper USB 3.0 support, and include the and just include the Ethernet in the right. thing, so you don't right. have to use 3.0, yeah. and then you ha- you get your full Ethernet speeds. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like as you see, like there's a lot of little things, but those oh, little yeah, things sure. kind of can add up. Like, yeah, there's can. there's ways to improve this that are not that that expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, I'm not saying that I, I actually. I understand why it's a plastic screen instead of a glass one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's for durability. Mm-hmm. Because 
you might be able to easily scratch it compared to glass, but glass exactly. shatters, sure, yeah. Yeah. plastic doesn't. Mm-hmm. You drop your switch, if it's glass, you might break the screen. Mm-hmm. Whereas you drop it with plastic, you ain't breaking the screen. No, You, you might get a scratch, yeah. but you ain't breaking it. Right. It ain't going to shatter. Right. Um, but, yeah. So No, I mean, I get it, but it's... So I'm actually okay with the plastic screen. That doesn't actually bother me like it does with some people. Um, but I'm also willing to put on my own screen protectors. That that makes a difference as well. But like I would have did that anyways, even yeah. if it was a glass screen, I still would have put a screen protector on. So it's oh like, for sure. That's why it doesn't matter to me because no matter what, I'm putting a piece of glass on top anyways. <laughs> so putting yeah. a glass on top of glass, or glass on top of plastic. I honestly can't tell the difference because I'm touching the glass. I put on either way. Yep. Um. Yeah, hardware revision wise. Um. You know I. I, I kind of <laughs> like everything, I guess, the, the way it is. I would like digital, or not digital, uh, analog analog triggers. Um, but the other thing too is that the <coughs> game cartridge door seems a little flimsy. Yeah, I haven't had too many issues with that. It it just it not that I but have there's, there's issues some with people it. That, um, it's, it just seems so I think flimsy. What's in your Odyssey right now, yeah. yeah. Um, so I've seen some people. I haven't had this issue uh, yet. But I've seen people where, like, after a while of opening and closing this thing, like, they can't get it to go back down flush like mine does right mm-hmm. now. Uh, it keeps sticking up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much that it really matters because it's just a cover. It doesn't, I mean, right. You technically but, don't even need it. Like, we didn't have covers on our oh, table. Oh, right. No, I know. But it's a little, it's an OCD thing. It's like, oh, yeah, why for sure. that thing close? Yeah, right. Like, something's wrong with my Switch. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't know. Oh, I want to get that game so that late shift just oh, came yeah. out today. 12 oh, months. nice. It's like a movie, but you make decisions rapid fire throughout oh, it. Oh, dang. Um, I think it has seven different endings. And dang. Yeah. I, I, That's crazy. I actually, by the way, spoiler uh, for those that are watching now live or you watch us on Monday, um, that's going to be our Wednesday stream. We're going to be playing uh, Late Shift. So Ooh. that's going to be fun. And we're gonna, as long as it is, it's like an hour and a half or two hour movie, whatever it is, it's a game where I make decisions. And it just keeps going. It doesn't stop to wait for you to make a decision. It'll just make the decision for you if you uh, – well, I guess I, that, I guess it's because every decision point there is, there also is the decision to do nothing. Mm-hmm. And that's the decision that happens if you don't do quick enough. So, like, mm-hmm. I'll be trying to respond to the chat. I don't know if I can pause the movie. Hope I can yeah. pause the movie to read the chat. If I can't, it's going to be like, uh, I fucked up. I fucked up <laughs> and everybody died. Yep. Yeah, well, not ignoring you guys, but, uh, yep, playing Every, this. Everybody died. Yep. Man. Ah, uh, can you think of any other improvements you might make to the hardware? Um, you know, no, not really. Not really? No. Um. You're doing it again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, because I was seeing I if know. someone else had a suggestion. I know. Uh, someone mentioned that the, the joysticks, yeah. um, they're a downgrade from Wii U. And they are, but I don't actually want them to be full joysticks. Mm-hmm. And the reason that I don't want them to be full joysticks, like the Pro Controller here, because um, the Pro Controller, you know, these are full, full on joysticks. This is like what Wii U had. Um, is because I am taking this thing portable, and it, and the higher and bigger the sticks are, the more likely they are to break. Mm-hmm. And you might say, oh, but that's never happened to my controller. Uh, BS. How many times do you br- throw a controller in your backpack into a friend's house, and it's stuck in a certain position, or the stick is cracked, or the knob is broken off? I've had that happen my entire life. Uh huh. Um, I don't want that to happen to my Switch. So no, like. Yeah. The higher the sticks are, the higher the chances that might happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually, I think this is a good compromise between full joysticks and uh, the slider. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want the slider. But I don't, I, in this form, I don't yeah, want full joysticks. I honestly either. didn't even mind the slider. I hated it. I hated that yeah. thing. Like, I'm like, eh, 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 eh. it's not always going the way I want. Oh, my God, it's stuck. Oh, I f- <laughs> piece of shit. Right, right. Um, you know, I've thought about the idea of like adding a camera, and then on Wii U, we're seeing like video chat. But I'm like, who cares? I really don't. Care. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I care about is maybe a camera on the back. So then, like when you're portable, um, you could do some AR games. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of cool. Like mm-hmm. that would open up some possibilities. Pokemon Again, not Go. something that I care about, but yeah, like Pokemon Go. You know, if you have that hooked up, you know, Wi-Fi wise to your phone or something, and you're walking around, you can play Pokemon Go on here. That might be kind of cool. Yeah. Um. Especially if Pokemon Switch is on here and they interact with Pokemon Go somehow. That would That'd be, be interesting. Cool. Um, but I don't know. Uh, j- just kind of some thoughts I have on how I would improve it. Just in a lot of little minor ways, but if they're just little things that add up. Um, I know some people want a stylus. I guess that could be a thing. 
uh, for people who really want it. I, I honestly don't care about hey, stylus. After about a week and a half, I lost them. So. <laughs> My man, this thing is so beat up. Well, good. That's on the back plate that I'm replacing. What? Another crack? A little, no, a little scuff. I know, uh, right? A scuff. Uh-oh. But, but right by the headphones, somebody see that? Yeah. 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 It's okay. Make sure there's no damage on the part I'm not replacing. My crack's on the front. You all, you have, oh, yeah, that's right. You have a crack on the front. Mm-hmm. Well, yep, I have no cracks on the part that I'm not replacing, which is the front. So mm-hmm. That's good. And my Joy-Con shells are fine. Well, it might, I don't know. I don't know what the... And I don't plus, know I'm going to be getting those the, new nubs in that'll probably make these even more solid, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's considered the front and how much, how far it goes up to the... Well, you got... See, I don't know the, the front actually is. The front wraps around. You can kind of see the line right there. So okay. it separates. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. So Mine's definitely on the front. Back yep. plate. Mine's definitely on the front. Yep, so... Yeah, mine's on the back, so you can even see I got a chip out of this corner. Yeah. And then crack all the way Yeah, up. oh, that's fun. Yeah. So that'll be replaced. Pray kids. Again, we're doing a video on that. Pray so kids. That's going to be <laughs> awesome. Kids and life and yeah. man, replacing it with this. It'll be great. Um, can't wait to do a video on that. I've never taken apart my Switch, so that should be fun. Uh, I might even, I thought about it, but I'm not sure if I want to do it. Take apart the Joy-Con, one Joy-Con, have one blue, one white. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. Ooh. Because if you look at the inside, oh, I don't know. They're, they're over there. They're actually, yeah. like, kind of complex a little bit versus yeah. unscrew a back plate, screw the one on, done. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, um, no, what you could do is you have one blue, one white, and then you put uh, some Nintendo Prime stickers down on the bottom corners there. <laughs> you and those Nintendo Prime. I know because I don't have any yet, and I need to get some for the headphones. The headphones, yeah. I know. And you just put I got to find one that I can size because like, i got to measure the put size. Put one here, there. and then you put one here, and you're good. At the bottom of the joy cuts. No, no, no. I actually think I'd like it if I had the blue one. Yeah. Um, oh, man, look how small it would have to be, though. Well, yeah, but still, it would work. I actually think that I would just do only on the white one. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like an offset thing. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it's an idea. Or I get some custom one, ones of these made that has the wraparound bomb logo. Oh, yeah. All the way around. Yeah. And then over on here, it just says Nintendo Prime. Nintendo Prime. Yeah. There you go. Guys, you guys got to hook me up with some custom jobs out there. I, now now, now that my Switch is out of warranty, all I want to do is modify <laughs> it and, and, and go nuts. Right, not right. not hacking it, right. just modifying the look. Yes. So bad. All right. If only I could switch out the memory module for a larger one, that would be great too, but you can't do that because they're all, all locked to the board. So, uh, Of course. Yeah, I might also find a way to uh, maybe better the cooling. Because I haven't had an issue yet, and I have no Bengate issues, I don't think. Mm-hmm. I don't think. Um, but um, I do know that for some people, when they play Switch for a while, they'll notice it gets really hot on the back. And you'll see that with your phone as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it seems more noticeable on Switch. So And it feels weird because it's got a fan. Mm-hmm. So shouldn't it be less noticeable? So maybe some way to improve the cooling. I don't know how they do that. Maybe maybe they go to a vapor chamber design. Yeah. Instead of uh, using active fans, I think because I mean, that's what uh, Xbox X- One X uses, and uh, obviously that could be a little bit more pricey. But then again, in this form factor, there's phones that are starting to do it now. So, yeah. um, if phones can pull it off, why not switch? Right. I mean, multiple. Fans. It, it's worth it's worth a try, an experiment at least. Yeah. Um, and and a, and someone out fan. there now, and now I'm giving ideas for people to be like, you know what? I'm going to try to replace the cooling with my own vapor chamber. Yeah. Hey, let me know how it works, man. Yeah, right? I. I I'm willing to modify this bad boy now, let me tell you. Uh-huh. Heck, I'll take the Tegra X1 chip out and put an X2 in and see what happens. Ooh. It probably won't be compatible. Probably not. But, um, but ooh. ooh. Desoldering and resoldering Tegra X2 in there and stuff. Uh, uh-huh. I wonder if someone's tried it yet. Maybe. Bought a Tegra X2 device and took the Tegra X2 and tried to solder it into the switch over the instead of take out the X1. Don't I don't know. know if it would even work. Yeah. Probably not because it's not designed for it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why not? They have the same architecture. <laughs> Interesting. The same architecture. Would it actually make things faster, or would it just run at the speeds of the X1? Yeah, I don't know. Find out more on next week's Nintendo Prime podcast. <laughs> That's going to do it for this yeah. week. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nintendo Rumble Jets from Nintendo Prime. This is Eric Moore. Hell, You goodbye. can follow you where at? At Twitter. At uh, Twitter. Yes, at Twitter. On, on Twitter. Twitter. At emo8790. And you can follow us at Ninty, N-I-N-T-Y, Prime, on Twitter, or my personal Twitter, at Nate Chance. Don't really, I don't know why I bring it up. Like, I yeah. barely ever tweet on it. Yeah. But uh, I do tag myself on the podcast just because, 
I don't know. There's the corporate account and the why, personal why account yeah. and the corporate account I use like a personal account. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, that you got in trouble I am, with. I mean, I am and, Nintendo Prime. Yeah. Uh, you can also check out Darren at Real Dern. He's not here. You can go there and make fun <laughs> of him for uh, passing out, having a little too much. Um, I didn't have enough. We'll just go with the I fun juice. The bottle. Fun juice. See? It's watermelon smash. It's, look, it's red, guys. It's Kool-Aid. It's fun it's juice. It's Kool-Aid, man. See, red kickstart, red that. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, you know. All right. <laughs> That's it. Yep. This has been the weirdest podcast we've done. Yep. Dang straight.